guys welcome to today's video it is Monday I always love a good Monday it means back to school back to work back to routine I oh, love routine I'm headed out because I hear drilling I hear drilling behind this chicken coop and you guys are probably gonna be so surprised but Sophie woke up today with the desire to build something for her baby stallion no for her stallion that she wants to buy so if you missed it in a previous vlog Sophie stated that she wanted to build a uh, area for her miniature horse stallion her miniature horse stallion and <laughs> I should have shot her down right then but I was just trying to be respectful and allow her to have dreams but now I feel like she thinks that she's gonna get one and I just don't think that's gonna happen at least not in my lifetime frozen fences are absolutely a thing right now on our farm quick update about Ellie she's doing so much better I don't know why I always get like alarmed and freak out when somebody's doing something that I don't want them to do because I know it always just takes time and time it took she's doing a lot better when I can call her now when she's chasing Ruby I can, oh hello princess oh she looks so cute today spring is in the air huh wait let me get you a treat I actually don't even know where the treats are so green it is oh she left hello <laughs> she looks so cute she looks so young and so cute today there you go that's for coming to say hi to me she looks really happy today she's so gentle I have like gloves on she can't really feel what she wants She's so good. You're so good. And she's looking lively and fresh. All right, I'll be back, Penny. I have to go check on your sister. I don't necessarily think she's her sister. <laughs> I don't know what to call her. I'll be back. I know she wants to come out here with me. I feel it. I feel it in the bottom of my toes. She's saying, I want to go with you, Laura. How in the heck? Look at all this snow. I haven't been out here in days. How'd you get in there? Oh, all right. I'm going in the right direction. If you saw our recent video about changes that we want to make on this farm, you might know that this is... What is she using? This is what we want to use as our outdoor riding arena. It's super handy to the barn. And I think it could work. It's actually freezing out here still. <laughs> it doesn't go through. I love it. What are you making? Well, this one is going to go here, and there's going to be another one that goes there, and this is going to be the door, but I need to, like, make it higher. Huh. And then that is going to be that, yeah. So this... But I need better wood. Yeah. And better tools. <laughs> What's wrong with my tools? They don't work. So Sophie has... Oh. <laughs> Sophie has my toolbox out here, and she has Sam's screws. And so what's your plan? You're just making a door? Well, I tried to make that first, and I quit, so I'm trying to make this. It's probably better if you do it when it gets a little warmer. Oh, it's pretty warm. See, it doesn't work. It doesn't work? No. That's where it works. <laughs> Is it because you have to drill a hole first? But it should work. I'm calling dad. <laughs> no, I tell him I'm coming down to the barn. We'll come back out Where after. He's at the goat barn. Oh, well, I'm staying here. Okay, well, I'm going down oh, here. But tell us, like, what is your plan? What's your actual plan out here? So just like, but originally this was a coop and then it turned into a storage place for like stuff. Now it's going to be turned into a stall. For what? A stallion. But we're not getting a stallion. A mini. I'm not getting a mini stallion. Honey has a brother. Yeah, she can't be bred to him. I know. But if he turns into a gelding. <laughs> so but this is only for a stallion because stallions can't be with mares. So you think he's just going to stand out here, or you think? No, I'm going to get him a donkey. <laughs> oh my gosh! All right. Well, just so you guys know, this is just Sophie's dreams and wishes happening right here. Wow. Anyway, I have to go down and help dad. What if I use a screwdriver? <laughs> yeah, a good old fashioned screwdriver. That's what I used. That's what I've always used. 
She's not doing anything to bother you. Leave her alone. She's just dragging a tree. So Sophie's in the mood to be building something. I don't think she's gonna last too long because it's really cold still. And we're still under a ton of snow, but that is not gonna last soon either because it should be above freezing in a couple of days. For anyone who's worried, Sophie is not getting oh, any kind of a stallion. Honey is, what? Okay, this honey is too young to be bred and Willow is too old to be bred and she's been bred already so many times. Come on, Ruby. I promised her she would never get bred again, even though she's a phenomenal, phenomenal horse. Some people might think that I should put Sylvia in her place and tell her now she's not getting a stallion, which I have told her she's not getting a stallion. It's really good for kids, even for people, to wish and dream and plan and prepare and live the life that they're dreaming of living, even if they have no possibility of getting that wish to come true. And she's pretty level-headed. She's pretty level-headed, and she knows she's not getting a stallion anytime soon. Right? We don't need any more stinky boys. Just joking. <laughs> Am I being followed? <laughs> oh my. I feel like I'm being followed. Whew. Oh, goodness. <laughs> oh, I don't think I can get through here. Right, I can't get through here. Oh, I thought it was Penny following me. Apparently it's not. It was Stormy Boy, who's looking pretty fluffy. Fortunately, one drawback of all the gates is that they're all frozen. They're all freezing. So today, it's the first time I came down and this water was actually frozen solid. So this side froze, it was frozen solid, probably from the wind. The rest of those cold weather, it's worked perfectly. Ellie's dog. <laughs> um, so I called Sam down and he thawed out this part, poured water in, as soon as that side got unthawed, it flowed right through. Wow, so you guys might not know, but I have one of my love languages, like my big love language. Sam, what's my love language? Work. Acts of service. Work. Acts of service. I like, this makes me, like, I love this. The wind is coming down. I know, the wind comes in here. It's like a drafty barn. Yeah, I need to, start, I need to build a box with styrofoam and stuff. And yeah, stick it on there. there. Just take, put it on there in the wintertime. Yeah, yeah, that's such a good idea. So is the so water I mean, still working good? I mean, I don't know. Did you check it? Yeah, I, I can't take it apart until I take apart the wall. Oh, good See golly. how the wall is in the way, because I need to lift the top off. Oh. So I have to <laughs> cut the wall to get the top off. Well, don't do that. The heater works because it was smelling like... Yeah, it's, the heater works perfectly. So I think maybe the valve froze. All winter I've loved this heater like this water heater i'm gonna show you guys this side it has worked phenomenally excuse me excuse me so there it is it's working now it looks good did you have to put more water in it what? oh good it looks like it's working perfectly now so that's good oh i'm sure they love this water i'm sure they drank oh, some it like empty there on that side? no it's completely full still so do you guys see what he means where you have to live lift this whole lid off but there's like a whole fence on top of it. I feel like I should go and crochet a bunch of cozies for all of our water things. If I crochet like a cover for our buckets, a cover for our water heater, a cover for everything, then I think we'll be okay. Make it, oh my gosh, where were you swimming? Ah, I don't know how she got wet. You did the window by the ducks too. I put some plastic. Oh, that's so good. Thank you. It, it, you think this barn is cold? Well, the door is open. Yeah, with the... Minus four. Yeah, I mean, it's not bad. Okay, so this is our messy stall. If you guys don't know, I use the deep litter method for the goats. It's the only way to go. There's the only way we would ever survive. I'm gonna, I'm gonna clean it out a little bit today. But you guys know I've been complaining about our goat's weight for so long. And to some of you guys, they might look okay on camera. And to some of you guys, they might not look okay. The white ones are always chubby. The boys, always chubby. 
It's my two brown goats that I'm worried about most. They're noticeably thinner than the white goats. And I know they're also a leaner kind of build. They have a different kind of build, but I see things, but they were getting chubby and now I see them getting less chubby. And to complicate things, they're pregnant. So we got that handy dandy baby monitor which I love. And I've been watching them on the camera for the last few days and what I've discovered is this. That white one right there and her baby don't let these brown ones eat at night. Even though they're okay, I noticed that they've lost weight for sure. Like they are so much smaller than they were going into the winter and I'm just like throwing food left, right and center at everybody. But these ones won't let them eat. So I made changes on how I feed them and I put some hay at night in the feeder and then I put some where I noticed the brown ones like to lay. And it does kind of work for the first couple of hours of the night. They kind of eat it and then they lay on it and then they poop on it and then they pee on it. It just doesn't work out very well. Our brown goats are so scared to go to the feeder that even when the white ones aren't eating, they know not to go to the feeder because the white one watches and guards the feeder all night long. You should put the white goats in a different stall. Well, so that's my plan today is to separate them. I'm tired of this. I want everybody to be happy and have a safe place. So what you're suggesting is I put the white, move the white goats. Why move the white goats? Because Sylvie wants me to- They're troublemakers. <laughs> I know. They're troublemakers, that's what you do. Is it what you do? Yeah, troublemakers stand in the corner. <laughs> I feel like that's super old fashioned. But that's what Sophie wants me to do. She wants me to put the white goats in a different stall and let the brown ones stay here. So these two stalls are our kidding stalls and we have two does coming into uh, their birthing yeah, season. Anyways, so. Yeah, so I wanted to keep these free, but what I decided is that a white one is gonna go in here and a brown one is gonna go in here. No, a brown one's going in here. A white one's going in here. So I was thinking like, why don't I just start using one of these stalls and separating the tomb of the mom and the babies and separating them now. So at least for the rest of their pregnancy, they're getting the food that they need. They're not skinny by any means. I don't want to imply that they're dying or in their dire need of food or anything like that. I just want our herd of goats to be happy. I want everyone to feel comfortable and I'm gonna have to sell that white goat. And it's unfortunate because I love the baby. I just, she's just too dominant for us. And I, I, it's not the kind of goat that I want in our herd. I need everybody to kind of get along. I, I know that her dynamics are her dynamics. That's okay, I'm okay with that, but she's excessive. Like she's not letting anybody eat. Even when she's not eating, she, she throws her head and like looks at them and, and lunges at them if they even look like they're gonna go towards the food. It's what I've noticed in the last couple of days. So right now I'm going to clean out this stall. I've already started, it's a huge stall. Like it's not a tiny stall <laughs> to clean out, which sucks. So I'm gonna get this all set up right now. I already cleaned all the cobwebs down or I cleaned most of the cobwebs down. I cleaned a lot of the cobwebs down. And hopefully by nighttime we'll have happy goats tonight. All right, so. <laughs> We got a heated water bucket inside that purple one. So he says it's just extra protection in case of fire. Uh, <laughs> Lola's in here. So this is it. This is gonna be their new stall. There's this really sus area over here. It's It looks like a pile of dirt. So I got Sam to help me to clean it up. It's cement. So there must've been like a hole or something there. And that cement, it'll probably just end up filling it with extra hay. But for now I put that in front of it. She's just scoping out those buckets. Oh, I know. That's all she comes. She's Everything about this dough is about food. Let's put her down and play with her in here. I haven't like got to really spend much time with her She's in the trying to eat cold my snap. hand because she thinks I have food. It's so cute. It's so cute. My building class. She is the most today. your what? My building class went good today. Did it? I got four pieces up. Did you? Oh, well, we'll have to go see. We're, she's building her stall for her little It looks bad because stallion. I drill a piece into the wall so I could drill another piece so it's like the other side so that I can when it gets warm dad will come out here hey here, come wait, here let me get rain and she'll stay with us i love when all of us are down here working on the she's over there are working on stuff but this is going to be they're going to have this is going to be tilly and rosie's stall because okay. i got outvoted sophie and sam both think that the those are the goats that should come over here. So I'm going to feed them. We got water for them. I like them to have free choice minerals and baking soda. So sit. <laughs> Stand. Good baby. 
<laughs> Ellie, stop. Ellie. <laughs> stand. See, you taught her. Well, let's stand. Yay! <laughs> She's going to... See, she'll sit. But this little doe, even though she came oh. from, like, the worst situation, because she came with no other goats, she has nobody pr to protect her, no mama, she, like, said, yeah, she settled in so good, she is noisy as heck, that's the only thing that drives me crazy about her, and she's so motivated for food that even though they push her off, she's, like, more... No, no more. No, she's... Putting all her weight into the bucket. Yeah, she's more of like a kind of a goat that stands up for herself and she's more in the middle of the, she would be in the middle of the herd. All of our goats that aren't okay. pregnant look pregnant. Ugh. And the ones that look pregnant aren't, that are pregnant don't look pregnant. All right, well, hopefully this works out for them. They'll be able to see their friends. Sam will have to build something in here, some toys and stuff, like some things for them to run on because. Why? That, uh, so I can save up for my miniature and my donkey. You're not getting a mini in a donkey. I am. Put that climber, the tote side in here. And then all right. Anyway. All right. And then they'll be able to see each other and all that kind of stuff. All right. Let's do that. So those are her she belly markings. She doesn't even care. She's still looking for food. <laughs> those are her belly markings. Yeah. Adorable. It turns out Sam has no knees. Sophie has no head because she gets headaches. So it's hard for her to like bend down and stuff. And I have a bad back. So... <laughs> Between the three of us, we got one body. Wow, it's huge. They can't get up it though, right? Well, I mean, they can jump. Is and they can fit. No, but they can fit back there. I mean, Sophie could fit back there. Yeah, Sophie could climb up it. So I'm going to put extra hay underneath there so they can climb under there if they want to sleep under there. In fact, this would be such a good spot for the babies to sleep. It's a good fit, I think. Yeah, right? Just put it against the wall there. Not one. Yeah. Sam's going to get me more straw. And I'm going to fill that up inside there and add more to this stall. So there we go. We got one birthing stall almost ready. We'll probably clean it out though before they give birth because I don't want them born into like a stall that somebody's been living in for a month. So who do you want to have this stall now? That stall? Yeah. Tilly. Tilly still? Okay. All right. Well, that may have been a mistake. <laughs> I just topped up their water and that's how their food got wet. They think that they can swim in it. They're, they're, it looks like it rained. Sometimes in winter, water, their water gets frozen and they can't swim in their little pool. So <laughs> they're swimming in the water bucket. But at least they're clean, they're having a bath. Stay tuned for tomorrow's video where we reveal Sophie's homemade stall. It's not even done. Oh, where we reveal the progress Sophie's making on her stall, stall for her pony and goat. Pony and goat. For her miniature and horse stallion and 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 what's the other thing called donkey and donkey don't you know that